My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. It won't go away I've got that feeling rushing through my body I know that it is here to stay It's like you're my personal illusion Okay, welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about the importance of a good tripod. Now it's not just having a tripod because that is vitally important. That's like one of the most important things. You'll notice I did a video recently called five things you required for landscape photography and you may have noticed or may not have noticed actually tripods weren't on that list and it's because I think that a tripod has to be a de facto part of your kit as a landscape photographer without a tripod nothing else is going to matter it's like it's like your camera you haven't got a camera you can't take a picture without a tripod it's going to be really difficult to get those pictures looking uh, artistic if you like uh, and not look like a snapshot with handheld landscape photography you can take pictures all day long and have good snapshots but if the, the last two or three videos, maybe four or five videos that I've done is going to teach you anything, it's about becoming an actual landscape photographer and getting away from that sort of snapshot photography that I see so many people do. And I have no problem with that at all. There's a lot of photographers locally who go out all the time and will take 500 images and post them all over Facebook and Instagram. And I've got no problem with that whatsoever. Some of the pictures are really good. But for me, uh, landscape photography is about being a landscape photographer, not a snapshot photographer. And I don't want to go out there and just get a snapshot or something. I want to go out there and get, you know, the shot that I see in my mind telling the story that I think is worthy of my Instagram feed anyway. You'll see I don't post a lot of pictures. If I'm not getting good pictures, I just don't do it. So today is about having a decent tripod. And you may have noticed if you watch any of my videos, uh, I have a new tripod. This is my new tripod. This is a Vanguard something or other. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Uh, but I did a lot of research. Uh, the tripod that you're currently on, and I'll show you the difference in a second between this and that one, putting it together, is uh, massively different. There are things about this tripod that I love. There are a couple of things about it I don't like too much, but overall, for the research I did, it was the best option for the type of photography that I do, because I do a lot of travel photography. Uh, I want a really lightweight bit of kit. This is carbon fiber. Adding this to my backpack, with all my other gear and it doesn't add a shed ton of, of uh, weight. In terms of weight, this thing is so light. It is carbon fibre. I'll get on the price in a bit, but because it's carbon fibre, it is a little bit more expensive than your, than your general kind of tripods that are, that are like aluminium, that kind of stuff. The carbon fibre stuff tends to be uh, a lot more expensive. Uh, but it's for a very good reason. If, it's, if you want a travel tripod, you need to travel light. The setup system for this is uh, unique in a way, I've never really seen it before, but instead of opening up the legs like you would normally on a tripod and reverse the legs over, actually you reverse the head of this, because this head, if I loosen it up a little bit, I'll show you there, it actually reverses, which also makes for another good feature, which I'll come on to in a second. So yeah, so when you put it together, all you need to do is reverse the head and click it in and tighten it up and you're pretty much there. On the whole, very good very good bit of kit because you can reverse this and it's, it's something about this i don't really like i'm going to come on to it in a minute you can reverse this you can actually get very close to the ground you can put your tripod legs right down close to the ground have your camera underneath there and actually sit really really close to the ground i could do that on this tripod that, that you're stood on uh, but it's a lot more effort this i can just pretty much swivel the, the head right over and you're pretty much there and then bring this up or down, depending on where I'll need it. So yeah, so the overall is uh, very, very good with this, this tripod. Uh, the downside is cost. This cost, I think, £145. Tripod you on, which I've had for a couple of years and was absolutely fine, was about £75. So, you know, near enough half the price, give or take, of this one. I had no problem with that at all. But where I've had to take it apart a few times, because it's been in and out of the sea quite a lot, putting it back together has always been an issue. They do come apart quite easy and you know you can clean them out and stuff especially when you get sand in them you're going to have to clean them out uh it's always gone back and some of the the turning bits which i'll show you in a minute uh just keep turning and turning and turning you don't really know if it's tightened up properly so it makes it really really tricky to uh to gauge you spend a lot of time keep tightening it up so i've had to consider a new tripod down the other downside of this is the actual head i mean it's, it's a nice concept and i like getting low to the ground sometimes but uh to swivel it around, you have to push a little button in there. I'll try and get some close-up video footage of it in a bit, but if you see there's a little button there, you push in and then pull this up, and then it will allow it to swivel. 
The problem with that is, it's got a lip on the bottom there. You push that in and pull it up at the same time, you catch your finger. And I know when it's gonna be uh, really cold in a few months time, and I'm gonna be out on location, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna regret it immediately because my finger's gonna be freezing, and it's gonna just take the tips of my fingers off. I know it, it's gonna happen, and you'll probably see some footage at some point in the future of me screaming because of that. Uh, but apart from that, it's the only real thing I don't like. There is a bit of movement in the head because of it's a swivel head, uh, but once you tighten up properly, it then doesn't go anyway. You have to make sure you tighten up really, really well. And this thing is just solid. Uh, although it is lightweight, the legs, oh, they're, they're just so solid. Your movement in and out like that is it's actually really solid. So you put them down on the ground, you know you're not gonna go anywhere. To make them uh, move even further apart, you just push, push a button in there and then you're at that point and then from there you can then go straight out middle so you can actually be right this, this can be right on the ground uh, with all three legs actually out obviously you might not need the legs right out like that you'd probably put it there you probably see it's dirty already it's because i've already had it out when i went to lol with cove and dirt or door last week so you can actually have it out like that and on the ground now i'll sit right close to the ground and be solid absolutely absolutely solid so yeah very very pleased with this and to be honest instead of swiveling the head round, all i've been doing is just been pushing that down like that and to open it it's literally just that 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 and that and then the legs come down you're there we're talking about 30 seconds it prescribes to be one of the fastest tripods to open I don't think that is the case, to be fair. The tripod you're on is pretty quick to open once you get used to it. You know, so you're talking around 30 seconds or so to open up. And that's it. Very, very lightweight, good construction. Solid, absolutely solid. When you've got these legs out, you can even hear it. It just sounds, it just sounds solid. It does turn into a monopod as well. This leg will come off. They can take the head off and put the head on that. Uh, there's a little extra bit that comes with it. And this does come with a ball head. You will find a lot of the more expensive tripods, they're that expensive even without a ball head. And this is a very, very good ball head. Now I'll talk about the ball head in a second and compare it to the one you're on because the knobs are pretty much in the same kind of position. So uh, you've got the, the release there to spin the ball head around. It's good if you want to do a panorama or anything like that. But these other ones, you have the, the main ball head there, which releases it. You've got another one there, which is for your smaller sort of movement. So when I'm on location, I might not want to tighten it up right up because I know I'm going to want to get different shots at different places so I can actually leave it just off. So when I turn, I know it's really, really uh, solid, but I can just make minor movements uh, and tightened up. This thing is just a beast. The good thing about the head is it's the same construction as the one you're on. So the actual plate that it sits on uh, from my old tripod will fit on here as well. So I can have two or three cameras all with these plates on different plates on that i know they're all going to fit and it's a very very sturdy very good ball head construction very pleased with this from vanguard thank you vanguard uh, i paid for this this is not something they sent me for free i actually paid for it there is a link on my gear page for this on amazon uh, disclaimer that is an amazon amazon associates link uh, so i do get a couple of pence if you bought this I might get myself about 20p worth of revenue so if you do want to use those links on my gear page please do so uh, that would help me a lot so yeah so loving this from vanguard is the vo 265 cb2 i don't know i'll uh, i'll find the the name of it there's the name there but i'll find the actual name and overlay it for you very very good very 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 good uh come back to the importance of actual tripods so important if you're doing landscape photography you need a tripod absolutely vital absolutely vital and uh a good tripod at that i did a workshop not so long ago with a gentleman i can't remember who it was and we was up at the round tower in old portsmouth and he had one of those tripods that had the head where you just unclip plastic construction and he was carrying it with the carrying the whole system with, with the camera on it and we came out of the round tower and it literally just fell off luckily the camera's fine i think the uh, lens took the brunt of it it wouldn't happen with one of these because these when they're tight it won't come off just won't come off so worth getting a decent ball head if you buy a uh, tripod that doesn't come with one as uh, i have a few ball heads to be honest the ball head that you're on isn't the uh, same ball head that came with that system that one's at home somewhere in a drawer because i didn't like it i bought a different one and uh yeah these these types of ball heads 
which is which this one's similar to the one you're on is uh, i think is pretty good very well practical bit of kit so yeah loving that if you enjoyed this video if you got anything out of it whatsoever uh please whack a thumbs up if you've got any comments or questions about tripods anything like that i'll do my best to answer i haven't used it a lot because i tend to have a tripod for a very long time so i haven't used that many i've done quite a bit of research recently on tripods i haven't spent your sort of five to six hundred pounds on tripods i don't want a massive great big thing that's that's really sturdy which is great but it's not very practical in terms of travel because i'm a travel photographer if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get updates every time i upload a new video my next couple of videos are going to be uh, more constructed around actually taking pictures i'm going to do some blue hour stuff i've been promising this i have got a few ideas about where i want to be for that uh I'm not going to give anything away in this video but look out for that it's going to be pretty awesome i'm going to show you how awesome it is to take pictures at blue hour blue hour is the is the time of day you want to try and get pictures love this tripod and uh, long may it be with me it's got nicks in it already i used it down at lulworth the other week and i've got a few scratches already it's gonna happen but you know good sturdy bit of kit so cheers guys i'll see you in another video take care and uh, have a great weekend tart bye